Welcome back guys. Today we've heard a lot of talk about the Micro Four Thirds F2.8 against the full frame F2.8. So I'm going to try and experiment. I'm going to use a 24 to 70 on both of them. The one on the Lumix is actually 12 to 35, but it's the equivalent of the 24 to 70 F2.8. So I'm going to shoot this candle right here at about three to four feet away at 2.8 on the cannon. R6, 20 at, I'm gonna shoot it at 24, I'm gonna shoot it at 50, then I'm gonna shoot it at 70, and then I'm gonna switch it around and I'm gonna shoot it with the Lumix, the Micro Four Thirds camera, and we'll see what the difference in the depth of field looks like between the two cameras, and we'll find out once and for all which is true on this. So let's start with the Canon R6 at, F, at a 24 millimeter. <laughs> All right, so that was 24. So now I'm going to go to 50. All right, now I'll go to 70. Okay, so that was the Canon R6 shot at F2.8 on the three different ranges. So let's see what the Lumix can do on that and see what the difference is when we're done. Okay, so now we're going to shoot with the Lumix G9, the Micro Four Thirds camera. We're going to shoot it the same way, 24 millimeter 2.8, 50 2.8, and 72.8 and see a lot of people say you can't get a good bokeh with a micro four thirds i don't know that it's quite what you can get with the full frame but i do believe it, it's pretty acceptable so let's check it out start with the 24 millimeter shot and i'll go to the 50. all these are at f2.8 and now we'll go to the 70. All right, so there we go. Now I said I was shooting those at three to four feet. I don't know the exact distance. I just had it marked off on the ground. So I was shooting from the same distance. I didn't have a measuring tape to see the exact distance, but it's right at three to four feet. So let's go take a look at these and see if the micro four thirds can hold up at F2.8 to what the full frame can do. So let's see what it does. So from looking at those pictures, I think we can tell that micro four thirds does have an advantage at 2.8. Um, we won't look at the 24 on either one or the 50 on either one, but let's talk about the 70 2.8 on each one. Even though the Micro Four Thirds, I think, did a really good job of blurring the background, it doesn't quite have the bokeh that the full frame is going to have, which makes sense because of the dimensions of the camera. But overall, I think the Micro Four Thirds is plenty acceptable at 2.8. It's just not as noticeable as the full frame. So I think if you're shooting Micro Four Thirds, you're going to be just fine at 2.8. Even though you just don't get that little extra kick you're going to get on a full frame, either one I think are going to be fine. So, I mean, they both did a great job. When you're at 70 and you're that close, um, you're going to get a pretty good pretty good bokeh in the background. But, you know, the winner has to go to the Canon R6. But again, the Micro Four Thirds did a fully acceptable job. So let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions, send me an email. You guys have a great day. Hit that subscribe button if we're helping you guys out. Thanks. Hey guys, I just want to take this second of your time. If you guys would please hit like and subscribe. It would go a long ways toward helping our channel and help us keep making these videos. Thank you.